Skinwalker Ranch really derived its name from a curse. From vaccines and software to genetic modification in foods and animals, we have seen extraordinary scientific breakthroughs and technological advancements. While we might pride ourselves on our scientific and systematic approach to life, there are some things that science cannot explain, such as what is happening on the Skinwalker Ranch in the United States. The incidents range from strange mutilations of animals to over a dozen sightings of alien-looking beings over a couple of decades. Now, the Skinwalker Ranch has gone berserk with a recent discovery. What exactly is going on at the Skinwalker Ranch? Can science and logic explain these mysterious happenings? What will be the result of these strange occurrences? Join us in this video as we discuss how the Skinwalker Ranch got evacuated after a terrifying discovery. If you have spent at least two decades on this planet, you can confirm that strange things happen everywhere. Stories and legends about cursed places and haunted areas are nothing new, from UFOs in Africa to the Bermuda Triangle. One of the locations of weird occurrences is the Skinwalker Ranch in northeastern Utah, USA. According to many, the land is said to be cursed with UFOs, witches, and horrific cattle mutilations. Since 1996, Skinwalker Ranch has established itself as a possible paranormal hotspot. For some theorists, the 512 Acre plot of land in Utah potentially holds answers to UFO and crop circle phenomena. Some even believe extraterrestrial activity regularly happens there. The property derived its name from the Navajo folklore of the Skinwalker, a mythical creature primarily found in the southwestern United States. It is believed to be a shapeshifter, capable of assuming the form of various animals or even humans. According to Navajo tradition, skinwalkers are typically malevolent witches or medicine men who have chosen to use their powers for evil purposes. They are said to possess supernatural abilities, including the ability to transform into animals, such as coyotes, wolves, or owls. Some accounts describe them as being able to control the minds of animals or people, inflict illness or death, and even fly. Encounters with skinwalkers are often associated with feelings of dread, unease, and the presence of dark energy. They are said to roam the night, seeking out victims and causing mischief or harm. It is believed that speaking about skinwalkers can attract their attention and bring misfortune to the speaker. While skeptics think this tale is just a myth, eyewitness accounts over decades beg to differ. On top of that, there's more to the ranch than just shapeshifters. According to many sources, cattle have been found mutilated in an oddly surgical and bloodless manner on the property. Alleged UFO sightings have been plentiful in the sky, and some have called this place cursed. It all began with Terry Sherman, who essentially fled his newly bought property after experiencing more unusual activities than he could handle. Sherman got so spooked by the happenings on his new cattle ranch that 18 months after moving his family of four to the property, he sold it. He and his wife Gwen shared their chilling experiences with a local reporter in June 1996. They claimed to have seen mysterious crop circles and UFOs, and the systematic and repeated mutilation of their cattle in an oddly surgical and bloodless manner. For a long time, we wondered what we were seeing, if it was something to do with a top-secret project. I don't know really what to think about it, said Terry Sherman. The couple, their teenage son and their 10-year-old daughter, all claimed they had seen three specific types of UFOs numerous times during a period of 15 months. One UFO was small and boxy, another was 40 feet long, and the third was an enormous craft the size of several football fields. One of them shone a red wave of light, another emerged out of a circular orange orb resembling an aerial doorway. To their credit, the Shermans videotaped two of the sightings. Meanwhile, they also observed crop circles. They saw three eight-foot circles in a triangular pattern, 30 feet from each other, on flattened grass. A nearby pasture also had circles three feet wide and a foot or two deep, with perfectly flattened dirt in the centers. 
As time passed, incidents on Skinwalker Ranch only got weirder and scarier. Countless people in the region have also reported seeing glowing orbs, UFOs, and humanoid figures. One night, a flying light followed Gwen Sherman on her drive home. On another, while Terry Sherman was out in the fields with the family dogs, he heard male voices speaking an unfamiliar language, and they seemed to be talking about 25 feet above him. According to him, his dogs went crazy. At one point, seven of the family's cows were either missing or dead. The cattle deaths were bizarre, to say the least. One dead cow had a hole cut in the center of its left eyeball, but was otherwise untouched. Another dead cow had the same incision, as well as a six-inch hole carved out of its rectum. A strange chemical smell was present both times. Some other cows disappeared entirely, some with their hoof prints suddenly stopping in the paths they left behind. According to Terry Sherman, we've seen the UFOs enough, and we know pretty much what the craft looks like, and I think it's definitely associated with the cattle mutilations. When we see the crafts, and then the cattle, we have problems. Within three months of the story's publication, Las Vegas real estate magnate and UFO enthusiast Robert Bigelow bought the property for $200,000 US dollars. Under the name the National Institute for Discovery Science, Bigelow set up round-the-clock surveillance of the ranch, hoping to get to the bottom of the paranormal claims. The results of their surveillance produced a book called Hunt for the Skinwalker. Science confronts the unexplained at a remote ranch in Utah, in which several of the researchers claim to have seen paranormal activities. While the surveillance was unable to capture any meaningful physical evidence supporting the Sherman's incredible stories, Terry claims many others in the area have had the same experiences. You talk to a lot of people around here that at one time or another have seen something they can't explain, Terry Sherman said. He added, There's been a lot of cattle mutilations, and a lot of them weren't reported. Several ranchers told me that when they had a mutilation, they called the authorities, and the authorities couldn't do anything, so it was just a waste of time and effort. While some in the region adamantly believe the Shermans, no concrete evidence of their accounts has confirmed their stories. But the family was so terrified of their property that they sold it just 18 months after moving in. For skeptics, many in the UFO community are quick to point out that the Uinta Basin of eastern Utah has been a hotbed of paranormal sightings for many years. In fact, some UFO enthusiasts have called it UFO Alley. According to Trent Harris, a local filmmaker, you can't throw a rock in southern Utah without hitting somebody who's been abducted. The book, Hunt for the Skinwalker, reports that odd objects have been spotted overhead since the first European explorers arrived. In 1776, Franciscan missionary Silvestre Velas de Escalante wrote about strange fireballs appearing over his campfire in El Rey. Before the Europeans, indigenous peoples occupied the Winter Bison. Due to the latter, some people believe the Shermans were only just seeing things that nearby Native Americans had taken note of centuries before. However, skyborne UFOs were not the only things the Shermans saw on their ranch. They also claimed to have seen mysterious large animals. The most notable sighting was a wolf three times the size of a normal wolf. Terry shot at the beast in close range with a rifle multiple times, to no effect. Then on the night of March 12, 1997, after the ranch had been sold, Biochemist Colum Kelleher claimed to see a large humanoid creature, spying on the research team from a tree. Kelleher was working with Bigelow's National Institute for Discovery Science. As Kelleher reported in Hunt for the Skinwalker, the creature was approximately 50 yards away, watching the team safely from a tree perch 20 feet off the ground. The large creature laid motionless, almost casually, in the tree. The only indication of the beast's presence was the penetrating yellow light of the unblinking eyes as they stared fixedly back into the light. After Kelleher fired at the creature with a rifle, it disappeared. He recounts the following. It was then that I saw it. A single, obvious, oval track about six inches in diameter embedded deeply in the patch of snow. It looked unusual. A single, large print in the snow with two sharp claws protruding from the rear of the mark, going a couple of inches deeper. It almost looked like a bird of prey, 
maybe a raptor print, but huge, and, from the depth of the print, from a very heavy creature. All these appearances of strange-looking humanoid beings have drawn similarities to the Skinwalker legend of the Navajo Nation. But Sherman's family ranch was about 400 miles north of the Navajo Nation, next to Ute territory. And the Utes and the Navajo had a bitter relationship, explains historian Sandra Jones, author of Being and Becoming Ute. According to Jones, it was not friendly. The Navajo were more aggressive people. They took slaves, and they had Ute slaves. And there was direct conflict when the Navajo attempted to move up into Ute territory. While skinwalkers don't feature in Ute religion, there are still aspects of the ranch that make sense within the context of Ute lore. Another thing is that these occurrences and sightings are not limited to Skinwalker Ranch. Other strange sightings have occurred next door, at Bottle Hollow, a 420-acre man-made reservoir on Ute land near the ranch. This reservoir was filled with fresh water in 1970 by federal government mandate. In 1998, a police officer saw a large light plunge into the reservoir and re-emerged, flying off into the night sky. On another night in 2002, four young non-Indian men standing on the reservoir's shoreline saw a blue-white ball enter the artificial lake. As recounted in Hunt for the Skinwalker, the glowing ball dove into the water just a few feet from the shore, then emerged seconds later in a new form, a shimmering, maneuverable, belt-shaped shaft of light. After performing a brief writhing aerial dance, the belt of light zipped away at a high rate of speed, hugging the ground before disappearing below the top of Skinwalker Ridge. The appearance of the supernatural around Bottle Hollow makes sense in the context of Ute's belief. According to Jones, amongst the Utes, springs and certain waterways were reservoirs of negative power. There were evil spirits or evil sprites that would rise up out of the water and drag you in. After Robert Bigelow purchased the ranch, journalist George Knapp visited it and stated, the Gorman Ranch presented a unique opportunity to study a rich tapestry of strange stuff. It was as if someone had ordered up the weirdness pizza with everything on it. The subsequent intense surveillance activity carried out by Bigelow's team triggered conspiracy theories among UFO watchers. The resulting chatter would lead Bigelow to give an interview denying he was in cahoots with the CIA or that he had prior contact with aliens in Utah. What makes the story of Skinwalker Ranch so remarkable is that the curious phenomena carried on even when under intense scrutiny by NUDs. Researchers witnessed the same inexplicable lights that the Shermans had reported, and their equipment mysteriously malfunctioned at critical moments. There were even cases of electronic equipment being physically mangled and shredded, and wires ripped out. One NIDES consultant, retired Army intelligence officer John Alexander, later said in an interview that a pre-cognitive sentient intelligence was at work on the ranch, somehow predicting what the NIDS team was going to do next and scuppering their equipment accordingly. Ultimately, Bigelow's Institute was intended to confirm or disprove the existence of these beings in the area by using modern equipment to garner evidence. And according to Kelleher and investigative journalist George Knapp, there were nearly 100 incidents. In the end, unfortunately, those involved admitted they had difficulty obtaining solid evidence. Bigelow would later sell the ranch to Adamantium Real Estate Holdings in 2016, owned by Brandon Fugel. However, research into the paranormal on Skinwalker Ranch has continued. As the chairman of Collier's International in Utah, Brandon is one of the most prominent businessmen and real estate developers in the Intermountain West. From an early age, he has been fascinated with the mysteries of our universe and the question of whether or not we are alone. This desire led him to buy the ranch from aerospace tycoon Robert Bigelow to investigate and study the strange and unexplainable phenomena reported there for over two centuries. In an interview given after he purchased the ranch, he said, You know, facing the reality of our mortality is sobering. The anomalies at Skinwalker Ranch are the things that have been reported there over decades, if not hundreds of years. They seem to attest to the fact that we live in a strange universe. Perhaps we are not alone. I think the opportunity to take a living laboratory like the ranch 
a place that seems to be the center of gravity of so much of the unexplained. It is a unique experience. I manage and lead an effort that I believe is the greatest science project of all time. Today, the ranch's scientific project is run out of the command center, a high-tech hub designed by plasma physicist Eric Bard. The property is wired with surveillance systems to catch any strange activity. In the last few years, numerous people on the site have become sick with mysterious illnesses, and many employees at the ranch, including the head of security, have had disquieting experiences. I thought it was all a bunch of crap, the head of security said of the legends. Then, one night, I'm in one of the bedrooms in the ranch house. I'm lying down trying to get to sleep, and then all of a sudden, bam, something slams into my bed. It's like when your kids jump into bed with you or someone big need the bed. I sit up and turn on the lights. Nothing's there. This is one of the many stories people who have visited Skinwalker Ranch have told. But what is happening on the Famiduta property remains unexplained by science. However, just like in Bottle Holo, there have been many UFO sightings and other supernatural experiences and beings in the Uinta Basin. The Uinta Basin in Utah is often called UFO Alley, and Blind Frog Ranch is right in the middle of it. The place has an undeniable air of mystery, just like the Skinwalker Ranch. For UFO enthusiasts, it's like a siren's call, drawing them to a world that goes beyond the everyday. While the science community is still firmly against the whole idea. For those who believe, Blind Frog Ranch could be a way to reach the supernatural. Due to its proximity to the more famous Skinwalker Ranch, it has often received the same attention as its famous neighbor, with reports of ghosts and UFOs. The name Blind Frog comes from the frogs that took over the ranch when excavations were done on it. It was discovered that these frogs were blind having spent all their lives underneath the ranch with no access to light. The fact that frogs can live underground in the ranch for many years without light has added some mystery and weirdness to the ranch. Over the years, people have seen a lot of different kinds of UFOs in the Winta Basin, from strange lights dancing across the sky at night to metal objects leaving behind lines that can't be explained. These phenomena have been captured by the show Mystery at Blind Frog Ranch, on the Discovery Channel. Just like the show and movie about the Skinwalker Ranch, Mystery at Blind Frog Ranch also sought to point out the supernatural happenings in the region to the general public. Many people have reported strange lights and objects moving through the sky above the ranch. These have included silent, fast-moving lights and larger metallic objects that left behind strange tracks. There also have been reports that the place often has problems with its electronics with things breaking down or acting strangely. Many in the UFO community think this might be caused by unknown energy fields or high-tech gadgets. Then there are stories of animals with strange wounds and missing organs found on the Blind Frog Ranch property. Similar to what happened at Skinwalker Ranch, these events have led to more rumors about the presence of unknown predators or even aliens. The presence of extremely rare metals and geological elements also points to the strangeness of the ranch. Different things have been discovered, such as possible meteors and rare metals like iridium. For many people, these findings might have something to do with aliens or strange geological events that science hasn't explained. Then you have strange experiences. Some people who have been to the place have said they felt uneasy, like they were being watched, or like they heard or felt things that they couldn't explain. Even though these experiences are personal, they add to the mysterious and interesting atmosphere of the place. When you add all these together, considering that the Bling Frog Ranch, like the Skinwalker Ranch and Bottle Hollow, are all in the same notorious Uinta Basin, you start to get an extremely pro-UFO picture. You might think all these occurrences are an attempt by the current owners to commercialize their property through legends, myths, and funny stories. But how do you convince those who lived there hundreds of years ago and have had the same experiences. Some places are just cursed, or maybe not. They might just be the hotspot for some very interesting supernatural or extraterrestrial activities. And the Skinwalker Ranch is definitely one of the top three in the world. Thanks for watching another episode of Voyager. While you're still here, make sure to click the video on your screen for more mind-blowing videos about space.